Hey, what is up, you guys? It's Dustin, and I am back with another video. And in this video, I want to talk about how Gypsy Rose is suing a true crime channel. Now, you're probably as shocked as I am because who would have thought that Gypsy Rose would be suing anybody? I Paint me shocked. I thought other people would be suing her, not the other way around. But if you want to get to the bottom of this with me, stay tuned to this video. <laughs> So I am going to be reading from the USA Today article. I'm going to link it in the description box if you'd like to read along. I'm going to have it on the screen as well. Or if you'd just like to read it for yourself and you don't want to watch this video, if you don't want to hang out with me, that's cool too, I guess. But let's jump into this. There is a reason why I'm wearing my reading glasses. So the headline reads, Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Family Sue Content Creator Fancy Maselli for Alleged Defamation. Now, I have never heard of this person before. If you guys have, please let me know down below. Gypsy Rose Blanchard and her family are taking legal action against a content creator who allegedly defamed Blanchard after their former partnership fizzled. The Blanchard clan, including Blanchard's father Rod, stepmother Christy, and stepsister Mia filed a lawsuit against April Johns, aka Francesca or Fancy Maselli, in the Circuit Court of Livingston County, Missouri on May 23rd. The family is suing Johns for several alleged offenses, including fraud, breach of contract, unjust enrichment, defamation, and false lies. So that is a lot of allegations. And I wonder what the dollar amount on this is going to be like. What? How do you even value what this would be? And even further than that, to prove defamation, you would have to prove that Gypsy Rose was defamed in a malicious way. Okay? And even further than that, there would have to be like some malicious intent and it would have to impact Gypsy Rose's ability to earn. I know I have some law nerds that follow me. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below because do you think this is possible? By the end of this, let me know. Blanchard and her parents met Johns while Blanchard was serving a 10-year prison sentence following the murder of Blanchard's biological mother, Dee Dee Blanchard, according to the lawsuit. Johns, who runs the production company Mad Ginger Entertainment, allegedly offered her services to produce media projects about Blanchard's life and case. So was she going to do like a biopic or something? Is that what Gypsy was doing? Was she going to like pay to have her own story out there or something? Is that what this is? The relationship reportedly sourced after the Blanchard family claims Johns failed to secure any media projects or produce any marketable content per the filing. However, Johns purportedly continued to create and post content about Blanchard against the family's wishes. Oh, so I get it. So she was out here posting content about them and then not delivering on what she was supposed to, like, give them. I I'd be pissed too. <laughs> She probably she probably does deserve this lawsuit. Blanchard pled guilty to second degree, blah, blah, blah. We already know this. If you're following me and you're getting news about Gypsy Rose Blanchard, you already know the backstory. We can skip this part. Gypsy Rose Blanchard accuses Fancy Maselli of violating content agreement. In late 2017, Blanchard and parents Rod and Christy each signed a life rights option agreement with Johns, according to the family's complaint. As part of the agreement, the Blanchard family provided Johns with access to copies of the evidence and documents surrounding Gypsy's life and case, which which included crime scene photos, court transcripts, family photos and videos, and Blanchard's medical records. So they really gave this girl a lot of information. What was she supposed to do with this, though? Like, what was the end all of this supposed to be? Was it supposed to be like a movie? Was it supposed to be like a true crime series since this person is a content creator? Was Gypsy Rose going to be like a YouTuber? Like, what was this content supposed to be? For the next two years plus, plaintiffs Gypsy, Rod, and Christy diligently worked with defendant Johns Maselli. They had countless conversations and interviews with her regarding their lives and circumstances of the murder. The lawsuit reads, During this time, Johns Maselli purported to be skilled and experienced enough to perform her side of the contract. In 2019, the Blanchard family severed ties with Johns after she allegedly was unable to produce the media content they had agreed to and became confrontational over Gypsy's relationship with her fiance Ken per the filing. This is so freaking weird. Johns went on to post about Blanchard's case in explicit detail online through comments, videos, podcasts, and interviews. The lawsuit states that some of the content which featured documents provided to Johns by the Blanchard family was reportedly monetized through subscription-based platforms such as Patreon. Have we not seen stuff like this before? People taking things that they know they should not put on the internet, that they know they don't have rights to, and then passing it out for people behind a paywall? Like, one, you shouldn't be passing out people's information they gave you as like an exclusive if you don't have the okay to do so but two like you monetized on this girl like in my opinion though i think gypsy might actually have a case on this though this is interesting 
Like, people really do stupid shit. They really, really do. Like, why couldn't you just do your job and do what you were supposed to do for Gypsy Rose, make your money, and go on about your business? As evidenced by defendant Johns Maselli's conduct and the conduct of her agent's associates, Johns Maselli is intentionally and freely utilizing the material she received from plaintiffs pursuant to the agreement signed by plaintiff Gypsy and plaintiffs Rod and Christie. Without their consent and her own pecuniary gain, the lawsuit reads. Blanchard and her family also claim John's content became critical in tone toward the family. I'm obsessed with the fact a murderer and her lying con artist stepmother are conning the world one paycheck at a time, John's allegedly wrote of Blanchard and Christie in an excerpt from Facebook post per the filing so this girl has some balls like (laughs) how are you going to enter into a contract with some people and then talk shit about them expose stuff they've given to you in confidence and then think you're going to get away with that like if all of this stuff is true of course this is alleged this is not a fact this is all like in this article this is alleged has not been through the judicial system yet but if all this is true and she did do these things you need to run gypsy rose her check girl fancy maselli claims gypsy rose blanchard and her family are stalking her in the lawsuit the blanchard family alleges johns falsely accused them in social media videos of stalking her and encouraging others to stalk and harass her she has stated that she is in fear that someone will take her out the lawsuit reads she presents no evidence to back up the assertions that she is either being stalked or that the plaintiffs are encouraging such behavior the Blanchard family also claims in the filing that a letter was sent to Johns by attorneys requesting that she stop creating content and saying false defamatory and harassing things about Blanchard and her family as well as remove previously published content Johns allegedly failed to contact the Blanchard's legal team and has continued to post content about the family on social media so she's just saying she don't give a shit girl that's the equivalent of sending somebody a cease and desist like several times and we've seen this over and over and over again if you've been around the drama community for a long time there's dumbass people that like to do really stupid shit like that they brag about the amount of cease and desist letters they get like that is absolutely fucking wild to me why would you be bragging about that why like why would you intentionally go out of your way to do things that you know can get you sued I will never understand that. That's just bonkers to me. I just could never just flippantly go through my life like that. But that's just me. The Blanchard family is requesting a temporary restraining order and a preliminary and permanent injunction against Johns, according to the lawsuit. They are also seeking unspecified damages and compensation for Johns' alleged offenses. Both the temporary restraining order and preliminary and permanent injunction, if granted by the court, would bar Johns from continuing to produce content about Blanchard's case and her allegations against the Blanchard family. Johns would also be required to remove such content that has already been released. A hearing in the case is scheduled for Wednesday morning, according to the Missouri court's website. And that is the end of the article. If this person did all of these things that Gypsy is alleging in this lawsuit, I believe that this person does owe her some money. If you tell me you're going to do something, if I work with you and I share proprietary information on something that we know is going to generate money like the least you could do is do what you say you're going to do you know what I mean so for me in this situation I'm on Gypsy Rose's side but it's time for you guys to let me know your thoughts and opinions on this down below because I know I have a lot of people that follow Gypsy Rose and then I know I have a lot of other people that just really can't stand her but I want to know what you guys think please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like it and if you made it this far in the video leave me the judge emoji down down below. But with that said, I hope you all have an amazing day. Thank you all so much for watching my previous two videos about Mississippi Queen. That was a lot. That was so much fun. If you guys have any other videos you would like me to react to in that way, I would totally be up to doing it. I thought about doing all the like by sister James Charles's response, but I didn't know if you guys would be into that. And if there's anything else you guys would like me to react to, please let me know that down below as well. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.